brisket grilled cheese. You got the cheese on top, put water in the pan, cover it. Look at the melty cheese on there. We're going to layer the brisket on top. We're going to put our bread back on and keep grilling it. Look at that brisket grilled cheese. I made a super easy meatball pie and it went like this. I use this for the crust, put it down on a baking sheet, and spread some sauce on top. I have these little mutz pearls I'm gonna use. I just break them up and put them all over the pizza. And I'm gonna add a little bit of parm cheese. I took my leftover meatballs and I sliced them thin. And then I just put them on the pizza. Now I'm gonna take some ricotta cheese and put some random dollops all over. Now I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning to the top and toss it into the oven. Not for long, cause the crust is pre-baked. So just until the cheese melts and it looks like that. Let it cool slightly before you slice into it. And if you think this loop is cool, you gotta like and follow. Starbucks has officially announced that it's fall. So we're gonna make these monkey bread muffins with a pumpkin spice latte twist. Start out by cubing your dough. You can use biscuit, pizza, or dinner roll dough. Then we're gonna mix some white sugar with a pumpkin pie spice mix. Prepare your tray and then you're gonna roll every single dough cube in the sugar mixture. Because they're gonna double in size, I like to add just about five to six pieces into every muffin. Now we're gonna mix some melted butter, some pumpkin puree, brown sugar, and pumpkin pie spice mix. Pour a generous amount into every single muffin and pop them into oven to bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll be done in about 15 minutes. And when you take them out, they're gonna look beautiful just like this. Completely optional, but highly recommended. Add some cream cheese frosting on top. And there you have it, delicious and easy to make. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you're following here and on Instagram so you never miss a recipe. Enjoy. <laughs> This is something that I ate almost weekly when I was losing weight on keto and I've lost 130 pounds. I have a ton of recipes, but this has to be one of my favorites. I usually add an onion, but my kids don't like onions. There's a link in my bio to a full download of the recipe. Enjoy. I'm continuing to be successful in my weight loss journey, living the keto lifestyle. Keep following me for recipes. This one's keto and low carb friendly. It's cabbage sausage stir fry. A small handful of sausage, quadruple it if you're serving a whole family, chop it up, put it in a hot frying pan, and then take a small half of a head of cabbage that's been pre-cooked, I boil mine, and then chop it coarsely. You'll see I'm missing the larger outer leaves because I use that in a separate recipe. Add it to a really hot frying pan, continue to stir fry, adding your favorite seasoning. Once it's stir fried really well and the cabbage is cooked thoroughly and starting to brown, add that egg. Now, if cabbage is only 33 calories. It's high in fiber, low in fat. People, that's bulk. Lots of flavor in this one. Enjoy. How to get wiped up. Today, we're making the super delicious garlic Parmesan pasta that you can find all over the internet. Start by melting six tablespoons of butter with eight garlic cloves minced. Now, we're going to be adding four cups of chicken broth. I'm using the salted kind. And let me tell you, it looks like a lot of liquid, but if you use any less, your pasta is not gonna cook correctly. But let me tell you, I was in the cheese mat and I totally wasn't paying attention. I let it resecar a little bit more than I'd like to. Don't pull that rookie move. It's okay, do better. Now we're gonna be adding two cups of milk. I did 2%, but feel free to use whatever kind of leche you want. Don't come at me if you're authentic and you know, get everything right because this is a Mexican making an American pasta dish. Anyways, now we're gonna add in the fettuccine noodles. See, here's my rookie move. I let it dry out a little bit too much, but it's still good. Add in your Parmesan cheese. Then we're gonna let that all melt, ooey gooey, get delicious. And of course, I added a protein to it. This is not one to skip, enjoy. So this is how you make a cake that tastes like cheesecake without adding any cream cheese. For this, you need one banana and mash it. Add one cup of Greek yogurt, two teaspoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of sugar, and lastly, an egg. Then mix 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 until it's well combined. Pour the mixture into a mold, then add some blueberries on top. Bake it for about half an hour at 180 Celsius. Then dust a layer of powdered sugar. And there you have it. Enjoy! I'm going to teach you guys how to make crock pot lasagna. It's so easy and saves so much time. You need to brown your hamburger and add in your favorite sauce. I'm using marinara because it doesn't have chunks of tomatoes and that's the only thing my kids will eat. Next, stir in your sauce and then start making your cheese mixture. It's two cups of mozzarella, I just eyeball it, a half a cup of parmesan, and one 30 ounce container of ricotta cheese. Mix together until it forms a paste. 
Next, we're going to layer in our ingredients. Meat sauce first, then uncooked lasagna noodles. You'll have to piece them together to make them fit. A layer of cheese mixture, and then we repeat the process until you run out of ingredients. The final layer will be meat, noodles, and then meat. We top with mozzarella cheese, and we're going to cook on high for about three hours. Ignore my knob, it fell off. And there it is, all done. Voila! This is the easiest 10 minute meal that I make all the time for my family. First, I run hot water over the shrimp and pull the tails off. Then I put them in a skillet, add olive oil, about a tablespoon of chopped garlic, and then I sprinkle some pepper on top and I let that simmer. I typically stir it once every 30 to 45 seconds for five minutes total. Add my tortellini to boiling water and let that cook for three minutes. You know it's done when they all float to the top. Top it with some Colby Jack cheese and mix it together. This is the ultimate mixture of love, just like you are. Ingredients. My bro is making bolognese next to me. I told him to leave so he doesn't cramp my summer style. The sauce is garlic and grape tomatoes. Salted and cook on a low flame for 20 minutes. This makes them soft and creamy. Prepare your favorite pasta and combine with the tomatoes. Add the ricotta cheese, mixing until you release all the aroma. This is now ready to be called Just Gorgeous. Sesame noodles was the very first recipe I taught my boys to make when they were on their own. Number one, it's cheap. Number two, you can always add peanut butter to it to make it even more filling and stretch it out. Here's how easy it is to make. Add a couple of cloves of garlic to your blender, ginger is optional, two to three tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of sugar, you could also use maple syrup or honey, a quarter cup of soy sauce, I like low sodium, two tablespoons of vinegar, squirt of sriracha, Blend it all up, and I poured it over sauteed mushrooms, but you can just add it directly to your cooked spaghetti. Toss it all around. And I like also to add pasta water to loosen it up a little bit. And a little green onion. So my sister-in-law is from Medellin, Colombia. She taught me how to make this, and it starts with a little bit of bacon, some ham, now make sure you're using a small non-stick skillet like this, you'll see why at the end. Now we're searing up some tomatoes. The beauty of this is that everything gets cooked in the same pan. Once those are cooked, go ahead and set them off to the side. Now is when we're going to start building. Our ham is going to be our bottom layer. Now we're going to add two eggs and our tomatoes. Ideally they should have been on the bottom, but since I was filming, I forgot. Now go ahead and cover until your eggs are almost done. Add some cheese, I'm using mozzarella. Cover it one more time. Finally, we're gonna add our bacon, a little bit of oregano, and we're gonna slide it out to a plate like this. Of course, I have to give you guys that egg yolk pop. I wanted to share something that's been weighing heavy on my mind lately. I started this channel just to teach people how to cook easy and affordable meals. While you may notice almost all my videos are low carb or keto friendly, it's even in my name, I have been shying away from stating it. Last year I was almost 250 pounds and I had some really serious health issues. Just a week after starting keto, I had a huge spike in energy and some of my health problems were disappearing already. While eating a low carb, high fat diet really does make me feel my absolute best, I also know that everybody is different and what works for me may not work for you. I don't want any dogma coming from my page. All I want to do is share with you guys my recipes. Are you the type of person that likes the meal prep all natural chicken? Let me show you your new favorite recipe. Cause you're gonna love this. We start by butterflying our chicken breast. Like so. I promise you this is gonna be your new favorite way to meal prep your chicken. We put a good coating of Danos, being low sodium and all natural. Take you a preheated pan and add you a little bit of olive oil. Not too much, just a little bit. Just like so. Now it's time to season the other side. A little bit of Danos. Flip your chicken after just a couple minutes. Got a nice sear. Now it's magic time. Real lemon juice. We're going to put about a cup in. And cover. Add a little bit of balsamic. The magic is in the sauce. 
165. The sauce over the chicken and rice is where it's at. Yes, sir.